What's going on guys, Connor Wells here, welcome back to the channel, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. If you're new around here, do hit that subscribe button and turn notification bells on as that really does help the channel grow. I make weekly music related content, so if that's what you're into, consider subscribing. Now I put a poll out on the community feed asking you guys if you wanted to see what is in my camera bag for 2020. Resounding yes, so let's get into what is in my camera bag. 2020. So welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for another video and let's get into it. So as you can see there are two camera bags here uh, on on my uh, my new little setup. Um, this isn't permanent, this is just, I need some space for this camera bag um, reveal. So I've got two camera bags here, I've got a smaller one and a slightly slightly bigger one. Um, so I'm going to go over what is in them, Every, all my tech and camera gear is all in the big bag right now. Um, but let's go start with this one. Oh, let's move this one out of the way. Right, so this camera bag here. This is my smaller one. This is sort of a one I use for like the daily carry. You know, what I'd use if I'm out vlogging and don't really need to carry all of my camera gear. Just the bare necessities really. You know, the, the, the bare bones of what I need to make a vlog or a video for the day. So this is the Lowepro Toa BP150. Really, really cool little camera bag. It's uh, water resistant to, to a certain degree. Just a little disclaimer, none of the stuff I mention in today's video is sponsored or affiliated um, with me. Um, so yeah, just letting you know. But I got this camera bag for 10 pounds here in the UK. It was down from 50, got it at the airport at Dixon's. So yeah, had, had to get it. So there's nothing in this one because all of my stuff is in the other camera bag. Right at the front, I usually put batteries and, you know, spare odd bits and stuff that, you know, loose chains that I might need for the day. Uh, the middle pocket, I always sort of refer to pockets as front pocket, middle pocket, and the big deal. The big deal. This is really cool, so I've got, yeah, a little bit overkill, but I've got three Sharpies in here. You never know when you need, um, when you never need three Sharpies. Uh, in this little pouch here is where I put my iPad. And then at the front, I put, like, an SD card holder and my tech pouch. Uh, if you guys watched last year's video, you'll know all about the tech pouch. So, uh, we'll get into that a little bit later. Let's do this up. I like this bag a lot because it's got um, locks, so, um, you know, if someone wants to open your camera bag um, from the side, they can't with, if it's locked like that. Um, usually I strap my switch pod or a small tripod to that sort of area. Let's get into the main bulk of the bag. It's empty. It's empty. Um, but anyway, as you can see, this is where the main sort of camera and the lens go. I put all my other lenses in there. We'll get into them later. The microphone, which I'm using right now, so I can't really show you, but I use the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. Um, really, really great microphone. Um, got that at B and H Photo in New York when I went to New York. Um, the microphone goes in there, and then my backup camera, which is what I'm actually filming on at the moment. I, I started recording this video on my iPhone, and, and then it cut out for some reason. All the audio and stuff didn't sync properly through the video app I was using, so I've had to re-record this video like twice. Um, so, it'd be great if you like it, that would make it all worthwhile. Yeah, uh, that's where that usually goes. It's nice and padded, zipped away, can't, can't really wobble. Um, yeah, great, great camera bag. Um, <laughs> Can't, can't really complain. This is what I use on sort of the daily sort of vlog sort of style. Let's get into the big bag. <laughs> Boom. Can you see me? This is my new camera bag. I got this at B&H Photo in New York. Let's move over that way. <clears throat> yeah, got this at B&H Photo in New York. This is the Low Pro Pro Trekker BP 350 AW2. Catchy name. Very, very, very catchy name. But let's let's start with the outside of the bag. It's got loads of hooks to it. It's really great. It's probably one of the best camera bags I've, I've ever owned. It's amazing. You, there's loads of stuff you can hook it onto, um, things onto, uh, like even on the, the handles, with, um, the straps, which are very, very padded, which is great because I don't have the best um, back. I get a few back pains occasionally. Um, so it's, it's great for that. It's got less like stretchy like handle sort of thing. And same again on the side. So, as you can see, right at the front, I, I have my switch pod. 
attached to the front. Um, these are removable straps, they can go vertically or horizontally and you can put a bigger tripod or something like the switch pod in there. Another place for a tripod, I'll usually attach like a bigger tripod to here or put a, a water bottle in there. Um, great, because um, usually on camera bags I found you can't really fit an actual water bottle size water bottle in there. But this is great though. It's got a side pocket here as well. Um, and here I keep a battery pack. This is the Anchor um, Pro Charge, I believe it's called. I, I, I can't really remember. Uh, it's a 20,000 milliamp hour battery um, battery pack. Um, really great, it can charge my iPhone um, from flat like four or five times, so can't complain there. Um, let's start at the front pocket here. Take the switch pod out, because during the first recording of this video, it, it kept falling out, which isn't good for anybody. Front pocket, um, sort of got two sides to it. I hope I don't know if you can see that. It's got like two little sides to this pocket. So in there, I uh, keep like paracetamol because you never know when you're going to get a headache, <laughs> especially when you're flying. Uh, which this camera bag is great for. I'll show you in a sec. It's got a little key hook, which I think is a, a must-have because I'm constantly losing my keys. So um, knowing that I can secure my keys to, to that is great. Uh, the other side of the pocket, I keep one, two and three, oh no, oh no, three batteries for my, my camera, and I'll explain what camera I use in a minute. So they live in little pockets, inside pockets, in there. Very good. One of the great features, I, I think this is absolutely fantastic, is the back plates here fold out, and you can tuck the camera bag straps in there. So if you're putting it in the overhead bins on a plane, it tucks away, it, it, it makes it all neater. I, I love that, really, really great idea. I wish all camera bags uh, did that. We've done the front and the outsides, time to get into like the middle section of this camera bag. Here we go. Nice, nice reveal, nice reveal. So in here, I'll keep my iPad. Um, that stays in there. Um, great for editing photos, just on the go. Uh, it's got a pouch for my MacBook, my uh, 2015 MacBook Pro. I do need a new one, it's starting to lag a little bit. Uh, in here, I love this. This is probably one of my favorite things in there. Uh, this is my BagSmart tech pouch. Uh, a really, really great, um, really great piece of tech. I, I don't know if I should call this tech, but it's great for organizing my tech. So. This is, like the OCD is real for this one. This is what I keep in there. So I've got uh, Apple lightning cables, Apple lightning headphones, USB, micro USB, sorry. Um, trusty Swiss army knife. You never know when you need a Swiss army knife. It's always great. I keep an Allen key for tripod mount adapters and a padlock for when I'm traveling. Um, so you can hold some SD cards in there. Um, pack of tissues, because you never know when you need tissues. And I've got some lens wipes in there as well. It's a great, great, great thing to have in your camera bag. It's great for organizing your, your tech and your cables. I, I love this. There is a bigger version. I'm tempted to upgrade, but uh, yeah, I got this for 10 pounds on Amazon. If I can find everything on Amazon, I will link it in the description below. So uh, here we go. Right, um, there's another like see-through pocket here. I love zips. This is such a great camera bag because if I wanted, I could probably fit some clothes in there as well, which would be great for traveling because that means this would be my only sort of carry on luggage. Right, let's get into the main part where I keep all my camera gear. Also, with these zips, uh, they've got loops in them so you can lock it um, with a padlock, which is great for traveling. Keep your gear protected. Woohoo! Look at that. I. I don't know why I could watch like what's in my camera bag videos all day long. I could pack and repack and then repack again and pack it and empty it. I could pack and repack camera bags all day. I just love organizing my camera bag. Um, and yeah, this is probably more organized than my life. I'm not even joking. Right, <laughs> let's start with this bit here. So up here, there's some SD card holders. I don't really use them. I've got like one micro SD card in there. I don't really use micro SDs, just I bring it in case. Uh, it's always good to be sure. Um, 
Speaking of SDs, um, this is my B-Way SD card holder. Uh, it's great, it's waterproof, um, very, very strong and rugged, um, and can hold, um, yeah, 12 SD cards, which is great, and it's waterproof, which is great. Um, I need, I, I would like to get a new one because it is quite, um, quite chunky. Um, I'd like one that's a little bit thinner, slimline, if you know what I mean, and that would be great. Next pouch, everyone knows what this is. Any YouTuber, vlogger, content creator has one of these. It's a Lucy uh, rugged hard drive. It, it's not really much more to explain with it. It just does what it says on the tin. It's, it's a hard drive, it's rugged, uh, protects your stuff. It's great. Uh, I use a one terabyte one because I don't really film too much in 4K. Um, so one terabyte is pretty much enough for me. I keep the wire in there as well, so they're all together. Right, let's get into the actual camera gear. Because um, if we're talking about what's in my camera bag, we might as well mention the cameras. So, disclaimer, the camera I'm filming on at the moment is usually a backup camera. It's my fiance's, but she doesn't use it too much. So I borrowed it for today's video. Um, this is uh, what I'm filming on is the Canon EOS M3. Um, it's basically what I use for, like, like I said, a backup camera. If I wanted to take a picture of my, my main camera, I, I'd, use that, I'd use this. So, um, yeah, it's, it's great for photos. It's it's focus peaking is actually better than my my main camera, which is very surprising. Um, it's okay for video. The autofocus isn't the best. It's good for photos, um, so I'm keeping it on manual focus right now. Um, but it's good. It does 1080p up to uh, 30 frames per second, I believe. So yeah, great sort of entry level camera. But let's get into the main camera. Let's uh, lay this down. Oh, sorry, plant. Um, so this, this is the main camera, this is the Canon EOS M50. Now this is often regarded to as an entry level camera, I disagree with what you get for the price point, uh, here in the UK you can probably get it for about £550, um, it's great, it's got 4K, um, it's got an articulating screen which is great, great for vlogging. Uh, amazing, it's a must have for me uh, to be able to see myself. That's uh, the, M the EOS M3 that's got a flip up screen, um, which is cool. Um, yeah, and it's great, really great for photos 24 megapixels, it does 4K 24 frames per second, and 1080 up to 60 frames per second. Um, so, yeah, a great all round camera. Um, now, let's talk lenses. The lens I've currently got on the moment, this is probably my favorite lens I'm using at the moment. Uh, it's my first ever L series lens. Uh, it's the Canon um, 24 to uh, 105. It's an F4, but I have a speed booster attached to the lens. If you don't know what a speed booster is, um, there's a lot of science and technical stuff I don't really know about it, but think of it like this. It's basically a wide angle lens in front of your lens. It basically allows the lens to let more light in and also affects the aperture, improves the performance of the lens. So this is an F4 lens, which basically, it's not very bright natively on its own. But when I attach the speed booster, it turns it into a 2.8 lens, which basically allows a lot more light in, which is great. It's a great little camera hack. So speed booster um, by Viltrox and then attach that to your EF lenses to basically make it a full frame mirrorless camera, which is great. Really, really great. This, trusty as always, my Nifty 50. This is great. It's a 2.8 lens, but with the speed booster, it turns it to a 1.2. So you can get some nice sort of blurry bokeh. Um, great for portraits, street photography kind of things. It's a great all round lens. Um, in here, I've got the lens caps and covers, um, which is good. And then I've got another Viltrox adapter. This is just the EF. Uh, EFS adapter, but I don't have any EFS lenses, so I don't really need this in in the camera bag. Um, it's always good to have, just just in case. Let's pop them away. Last two lenses. Uh, this is the lens I probably use the most. It's a tiny little EFM lens. It's the 11 to 22. You guys know that is a wide-angle lens. This is the one I use for vlogging. It's a great lens. It's an f/4. Um, I usually put a ND filter onto this. Uh, it's great. It's what I use for vlogging. 
I never need to worry if I'm in frame or not. It's a very good performing lens. Next lens is a lens, I'm, I've got two of these lenses. I'm filming on this one at the moment. Um, it's the kit lens that comes with the M50 and the EOS M3, and it's the 15 to 45. Now, I haven't used this on my Canon M50 for about three months. I, it's very cheap and plastic, it's not the best. I'm, it's okay. I, I'm probably gonna retire this and keep it in the studio. Um, yeah, don't, don't really use this much. But those are my lenses of choice at the moment. Next stuff I've got in here is a little LED light. This is made by Neewa, got this on Amazon. Really, really cool, this might be bright. Woo. Really, really cool for um, sort of low light situations and just a secondary light, where because I'm using this one. Um, next, I keep the microphone uh, in this section, but obviously I'm filming on that right now. Uh, it's got a little pouch here which is great, it's used as a shelf, that's where I put the backup camera. And the last thing, which I think is really, really cool, I got this bag from B&H Photos in New York when I went there. If you wanna see what happened on my New York trip, click the card up there, some of you already know. Um, yeah, this is a really great sort of organizer pouch. I keep the really, really, really exciting things in this bag, and I'll show you. This is like mind-blowingly exciting. Uh, it is, camera batteries and chargers. We all gotta bring them, uh, it's part of the course. So, in here I keep the EOS M3 charger and the plug for the charger. That's one thing I love about Canon cameras. There's a lot of faults with Canon at the moment, but one thing I love compared to other camera companies, they include the charger in the box when you buy the camera. So, Sony, listen up, in include the charger sometimes. Um, this is the dual charger um, for my EOS M50. It's great to be able to charge two batteries on the go. Um, I keep some microfiber cloths in here and then the charger and a spare battery for that little Niwa LED light. Um, that is the CN160. Um, really, really great. So that basically sums it up what I keep in my camera bag. Um, there's a laptop pouch in there. I usually keep my laptop in there. Um, and this is what I use for when I need to take all of my gear for traveling. It's a great all-rounder bag. Um, I wish I could fit like some clothes in there. That would be great. I was originally looking at the Peter McKinnon Nomatic uh, camera bag, um, but that is like three hundred and sixty pounds here in the UK. So so quite expensive. Um, but this was one hundred and seventy. Still expensive, but. It's a good alternative and it's working really well for what I need from it at the moment. It's a great all-round camera bag. Yeah, other than that, I can't really, can't really fault it. If you enjoyed this video, do hit that thumbs up button and let me know what you think in the comments below. If you're new to the Connor Wells channel, do hit that subscribe button as well. Turn notification bells on. I post weekly music, track and breakdown reactions um, to songs. Um, so if that's what you're into, yeah consider subscribing. And like I say at the end of every video, we're a small community, but a growing community of music fans all around the world. And at the end of the day, it's all about the music. This one's a little bit off topic, but it's what I use to bring you the videos about the music. There we go. Have a great day, guys. Catch up with you all soon. Peace.